Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to do a um, few modifications on your grid annotations, right? Good. So on our previous video, we were able to get a map like this and then we use them, these formats to um, have the annotations on our grid. So now let's come down to grid, grid one, and then modify, right? Good. Now on the drawing of the coordinates, yeah, the draw coordinates tab, we use the um, degrees, minutes, and seconds, or let's say degree, minutes, and seconds with suffix as what the type or the format we want to use. You know, there are other options you can select from um, degree with suffix. You can see degree, minutes with suffix and rest of that. However, this is not the end. You can also customize how you, what you draw your coordinates or how you display your grid coordinates. So when you click on the customize, you can see this um, expression builder tab, just um, or expression builder icon. You just click on it, and then you see what the expression based annotation. Now here you can define the the you can control or you have a control of how your grid coordinates have been what have been expressed. So on today's video, we have actually um, written out or we have some scripts which we are going to test or which we are going to use to modify what our grid coordinates right good so the first one is to concatenate units to it so let's say you have um this is the um, expression at grid number then we have this um is it um double vertical bar then we have um meters nothing in a quote right good now in this case the grid number is used to represent the value along the x or y axis and then appending or concatenating the unit label accordingly using what the double vertical bar right good now let's see the application so we come back to the expression builder and then we paste what we have copied right good now from this um, expression builder we can see the preview that we have zero the zero here represents the grid number then it has been concatenated with what the meters noted right good so if you create a space here you can see the space has been affected if you delete this space and then you also bring this one close to the quotation you can see that it has been joined right good so for let's say aesthetics i just had to create that space so let's click on ok now you can see that instead of having the degrees minutes and seconds which we did we now have what some decimal numbers that are showing what the meter unit right good on that are showing the units in meters remember that your geographic coordinates are not actually linear so they don't need those linear units but we are just using this what as an example now we are going to change our interval to okay let's still come back to grid it's still under grid we are going to change our intervals to something what geographic so let's say let's um, increase this thing to 5000 this interval to 5000 let's also increase this interval to 5000 and then let's remove the crs from the project crs which is um, the geographic of him um, wgs 1984 to utm zone 32 wgs 1984 utm zone 32 right good so we have something more presentable however okay let's remove this um, 0.6 and this other 0 0.6 which we don't need so we can have them um, all numbers right good so we have something like this so for um, projected you've seen the application that if maybe you want to display your units you can actually have your units displayed on it right good so you have them um, is it 255,000 meter units because the intervals are in 5,000 so this is the first application but if you have looked closely you will see that for the nothings and for the eastings and for the nothings we are only having nothings for the both of them which means it is not sensitive to the axis yet it is only sensitive to the grid numbers which we have what which we have indicated on the expression builder so let's come back to the draw coordinates you can see that we just say the grid number concatenated to show meters and um, nothing right good so there was no condition to say if the grid number is easting it should be meter easting if the grid number is nothing it should be meter nothing so now let's come back to the script now we have the second one which is actually sensitive now case 
when grid axis is x then the grid number will be concatenated to be meter 16 similarly when the grid axis is y it should be concatenated with what meter is not now in this expression the at grid axis is x sorry when the at grid axis is x it directly concatenates what at grid number with meter is thin, creating an easting label right good so remember that um, let's come back to yeah remember okay let's close this remember this is supposed to be your easting this is supposed to be your nothing so if you had actually indicated it on your script it will be what it will be displayed accordingly so let's now build that um, expression so we have case we copy now the case okay i think the part of the um, expression we did not explain is what the case now what case does is that there's a description for it the case statements check the value of the grid axis if it is x so the case is used to what to check the value of what the grid axis so that will now help the script to know let's say the formula to know if it is x then it is concatenated with the grid concatenate the grid number with meter is thin and if it is y it does same with what meter not is right so that's the essence of having the case and then also ending it so let's um, come back i think we've copied right so we can easily put this out and then paste our new formula there right good so you can see similar preview however when you click on ok you are going to see something different so you now see that the easting has been well defined and then the nothings have been well defined and the most important thing is that our unit has been attached to it remember from this um, draw coordinate we have um, using a um, the geographic sorry using the projected we have a um, decimal with suffix which is something like this right good however the meter or let's say the unit let's not say meter because it can be another unit the unit is not indicated on our grid so that's why we have chosen to customize it to now show what the the unit which is now either meter is still or meter nothing so if you feel maybe you don't need the space between your grid number and then the units and then maybe the axis you can still rightly come down to your expression and then you remove your let's say you delete the space because this is the part of the formula that has to do with that so you now see on the preview that it has been joined and if you click on ok you have something like this so this is what the the second part of today's video let's look at what the formula to see the third expression the third expression is similar to the second one if not almost the same as the second one but if you look closely the expression is um, so much more um, summarized so let's um, copy this one as well let's come back to the expression builder and then we can decide to delete what we have and paste the new one right good now let's look at it the case it searches for let's say it looks at the um the grid axis to know if it is x then it concatenates what your grid numbers with meter is thin and then it also searches if it is y it concatenates with what meter is not right good so as we said earlier it's similar to what we have earlier so you now see that the results are actually the same right good so we can actually uh, move to the fourth um the fourth expression we have for today now um the expression we have is that um, we want to convert those our grid axis to degree minute and seconds now the caveat behind this is that you need to understand that um, um projected crs is not same thing as geographic which means at some point converting your decimal degrees which are the projected to dms will not be needed if you want your coordinates to be in dms then you need what your geographic coordinate reference system which we are going to show to you so let's um, first of all copy the expression let's say the formula let's copy this and then let's come back to the expression builder right good so to qgis and then let's look out for our expression builder that's somewhere around there let's um okay move that out and paste right good so 
when the grid axis is equal to x then the two dms good now let's see the description somewhere there now the two dms is a function that converts decimal degrees to degree minute and seconds right good so the other arguments we know what they mean the x or y specifies whether it's the longitude as the x or latitude y right good and the third argument two is the decimal place for the second component right good so Finally, you can now append the unit um, Easting or nothing to your DMS. So as we told you earlier, your your projected CRS, or let's say your projected coordinates, do not really need to be converted unless they are geographic. So let's come back to this and then let's click on OK. You now see that it has actually been converted. However, as we told you, you don't actually need them. Some of them are returning zeros. So we would um, come up to the CRS. But before we do that, okay, we'll come up to the CRS and then let's change it to um, WGS64, right? Good. So we have something like this. And then, you know, you can no longer see the grid values because the intervals we have indicated are actually very, very big. I think we are using 0 0.006 if I'm not making a mistake and then um, yeah is this 6 or 9 or let's say 0, 0.00 so we need to also take this out to 0 and then we also need to make this let's see 0 0.009 somewhere around here to see how that goes good so we have okay let's make this 6 as well so that we can have um, equal intervals not always how it is good so we have something like this and you now see the what the precision which is the decimal place that was indicated on the formula so we have um, the coordinates in what in degree minute and seconds and we also have the unit attached to it now remember that you don't need units thinking from the beginning we try to explain that you don't need units for your geographic crs but you can have what the axis right good so you can have either easting or nothing so we are going to go back to the formula and then remove any part of the formula that has to do with units and then we'll also reduce this our um, decimal um, places to zero right good so now let's come back to the expression um, we are going to remove the meters there we are also going to remove the meters there and then let's make this instead of two let's make this zero uh, sorry and then let's make this zero as well right good so we have something like this now by default this is similar to okay we have degree minute and seconds with um, the suffix this is similar to what QGIS has as um, degree minute and second with suffix so if you click on that you would see that but I think um, towards the end the precision for this is 2 that's why you can see it in 2 decimal place so if you take it back to 0 you would see that it is um, the same thing okay the suffix is very close to the second so let's take back our suffix to the second so if we take it to customize and then we try to edit it so there should be no space before the suffix and then we have something good we have something almost the same thing as um, almost the same as um, what QGIS have right good so we have shown you different ways to customize the grid um, annotations you have or you can have on your QGIS you know we have actually written some some scripts you can play with them maybe come up with your own customize it to suit what you want and you know you are good to go so thanks for coming to class um, if you have any question if you have any contribution comments you can leave it on the comment section and then we are going to get back to you if you need our services you can contact us via the number being displayed on your screen and we'll get back to you as soon as possible so until we see you ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.